Hello, my name is Chris Mack and I am the professor for a course entitled Chemical Processes for Micro and Nanofabrication. This is CHE 323 at the University of Texas at Austin. I've taught this course uh, many times since the, the year 2000, the first time I believe when I taught it. Uh, it's changed a lot over the years. It went from just microfabrication to now micro and nanofabrication. A lot of new material, a lot of new developments over the last 13 years. Um, but this, what's really new this year is that I'm putting my lectures online. Uh, I'll be um, videoing um, my presentations uh, and placing them on YouTube for uh, anybody who wants to watch them, uh, but also for my students who are taking the class in the fall of 2013. So what I'd like to do right now is to introduce the class, what we're going to cover, some of the prerequisites. First of all, there's a course website that everyone can access. It's my personal website, lithoguru.com, and the address is shown here. I believe CHE has to be all caps. And on that website, you're going to find all the links to all the video lectures in order, the proper order, so you can find them. Uh, links to the reading materials that go with uh, that, those lectures. Some of those materials will just be references to our textbook for this class it's Fabrication Engineering at the Micro and Nano Scale, 4th edition by Stephen Campbell. Um, also post the homework problems from that book and extra uh, problems as well, uh, quiz problems, etc. Uh, so it, not quite everything that somebody might need to uh, take a course uh, online, but a lot of it. This isn't intended to be an online course, just online material for my University of Texas course. The objectives uh, for this course, uh, well, I won't read uh, this whole thing. You can read it if you wish. It's basically um, twofold. One is to give you an introduction uh, to all the different process steps required for making an integrated circuit. It used to be that was the only top of the topic of this course, but in the last couple of years, I've expanded the topic to include some of the newer nanotechnology uh, challenges and opportunities. So I've compressed the conventional how do you make an integrated circuit course uh, into about two-thirds of a semester and now uh, add some other material related to uh, some newer nanofabrication processes not necessarily being used in the manufacture of integrated circuits. Some of the topics that we're going to cover uh, definitions and descriptions of the terminology and processes used in microelectronics We'll talk about semiconductor fabs and chemical processes for IC manufacturing. We'll, we'll go through individual unit processes, things like uh, metal deposition, dielectric deposition, etching, oxidation, ion implantation, diffusion, uh, planarization, and uh, because I'm a lithographer at heart, uh, quite a bit of material on lithography. And finally, as I said, the last one third of the class, or 25% of the class, will be an overview of some of the more promising new nanotechnology uh, materials and um, processes. Some prerequisites. Differential and integral calculus, uh, introductory chemistry, organic chemistry are, are required. It's also helpful if you've had some experience in mass transfer or heat transfer but I, I won't assume that you've already had a course in those materials. In general, if you're a junior or senior in chemistry or chemical engineering, you're going to do fine. Um, but pretty much any science and engineering major with a suitable interest in, and uh, this kind of background should be able to do well. Well, that's my introduction. I want to thank you, and good luck if you plan on taking this class.